I'm heading down to talk to Dr. Pete, Pete Myers, about MozCast, about all the cool tools that he builds, and how he helps the search community around algorithm updates, tracking changes in Google Search, and so forth. It should be fun. Long known Pete, I'm looking forward to talking to him. Hey, Dr. Pete, thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. Yeah, very good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, we've known each other for quite a while, yes? I mean, when did you start at Moz? Wow, so full time it's been about five years, but Moz was a client, and so it's been, I think, nine uh -huh. overall so, when so I was consulting. Yeah, when I was okay. consulting. So, been that a makes while. Sense. so, most, I think, pretty much everybody who's going to watch this video knows who you are because of MozCast and algorithm updates and tracking all Google stuff. But for those, like one or two people who don't, can you just, just <laughs> right. you know, tell people who you are? Yeah, I'm uh, Dr. Pete Myers. I'm the marketing scientist at Moz, and uh, I work with the uh, product and research teams and do a lot of tracking at Google, trying to understand how things are changing and how it impacts our customers. Cool, and um, Dr. Pete, so why doctor? I, you know, so I'm a that. psychologist by training. Uh, I'm a PhD in experimental psych, and uh, you know, I never really made a big deal out of it, but when I was consulting, uh, some of my clients kind of picked it up and started calling me Dr. Pete, and I just figured, well, oh, maybe it's good for branding. Pete Myers is a pretty bland name, so I started to use it in handles, and it kind of took off, so best uh, accidental branding decision I Yeah, no, that works well, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's, it worked very well. It worked out. Branding. So when did you first get into SEO? After grad school, 97, I went to work for a startup, and it was a dude in an abandoned warehouse with some cardboard boxes. Sounds <laughs> and, a little scary. Uh, I yeah, it was a little scary. Uh, I was a comp sci undergrad mm. and decided to kind of get back into that world. And so uh, he was building websites, and he was gone three days a week. So it was pretty much just me and the servers. And uh -huh. uh, I started getting the calls, like, why aren't we ranking, and what's going on? And uh, started out with Yahoo, I think. Uh, had a industrial customer who was trying to rank on Yahoo, and we learned it together. Uh, so probably like 98, got into it, and then uh, truthfully it was kind of too gamey in the beginning. Very gamey. And I kind of sure. got away from it for a little while, and then uh, when I went out on my own in uh, 2006, one of my customers like had been trying to get me to go to uh, SES, SES Chicago, for a while. That was with what year? Them. Yeah, I think it was 2006. That, 2006, yeah, okay. Yeah, and so they're like, I'm, I went out on my own, I'm like, all right, fine, I'll go with you this year. Uh, and I saw Rand speak and I saw some folks and I was like, well, that's a lot different than it had been in when I got out of it in like 2000, 2001. Right. And uh, I was kind of, I was kind of interested in how it had changed and evolved and dug back in, so. Is that your core interest is how things change in search? Yeah, I think so. I, I just felt like, I didn't like the game playing. I mean, it could do it, but you know, back in those days, it just, how many times should we mention the keyword and right. all, you know, all this, all the crap we had to do. Uh, I think when I saw that it, it was evolving in the sense of, you know, and I hate to say it, but building better content and being user friendly and the things that were actually serving people were serving the web. It got me interested again. And so, yeah, I kind of wanted to see what was going on. Interesting. Most people I spoke to in the past missed the days of the gaming. Missed that. <laughs> um, when it was easy and it was just like. Well, it was, yeah, no, that's true. Like, it was just like, oh, we get the magic number, we got it right, or, you know, nobody else was doing anything in this space, so right. anything we did worked. But yeah, that was fun, I guess. But. So in terms of the changes and stuff like that, for me, I'm just like, I love watching when Google changes anything from rankings to UIs to whatever it might be. And you're kind of known for kind of automating what I do on some level, right? So you started Mozcast. I feel like I should apologize sometimes. No, it's <laughs> great. I love now there's like, what, like no, 12? No, it's like a whole ecosystem like, now. There's like so 12 it's different tools yeah, that yeah, do yeah. similar things. When did you build Mozcast? So I actually launched it at my first MozCon uh, so it was eight years ago. Eight this years is, oh, ago. seven years ago. This is my eighth MozCon. So yeah, it was 2012. And how, uh, how has it is, evolved over the years? Which is shocking to me. Like, so you know, if you don't know, MozCast is basically a tool that tracks how the search results, I guess, for certain keywords Yeah, change. how they change every day. And based on how much change there is, it might be really hot weather, stormy weather, and stuff like that. Right, right. Or just normal weather, and that just symbolizes stuff. And it's recently has been pretty hot, I think. It's been, yeah, yeah, it's been picking up. Um, so why did you build it? You know, I just kind of got tired of that whole trying to figure out uh, manually what was going on with the algorithm or waiting for Google to announce it. And I think it had been the year before where Eric Schmidt testified in Congress right. and gave that number, whatever it was, you know, 500, 600 right. updates. And it was such a huge number compared to what we were talking about or what we saw in Webmaster World or, you know, we saw in the forums and uh, that I, I got frustrated. I'm like, what are we missing here? So I kind of yeah. wanted to 
trying to tap into so that. Is it, and now they're saying like 3,200. Yeah, changes. now last year, right, it was over 3,000. It's ridiculous. Is it really 3,000? Is it probably UI? I, I, mean, I think that counts everything. Yeah, yeah. I think that counts. Now they're Moving counting a pixel like UI here. changes. and. Yeah. It's, I hate when they do that. I wish they would just tell us how many changes to the actual core ranking. Because they just say, now they just say changes or improvements. Yeah, they say improvements. search improvements or whatever it might whether be. Whether they're improvements is a um, And you also view. have in MozCast the ability to track specific verticals in terms of like, you know, how all, it's what's it called, MozCast features? Yeah, the search feature tracker. Yeah, that was some, that is where my interest kind of changed. Because I, I think the thing is we started to track it. And I was excited at first because like one of the Penguin updates, we kind of saw that spike and I'm like, all right, this is working. That's cool. Right. But we couldn't interpret anything. You know what I mean? Other than that, like winners and losers kind of report and what keywords went up and down. Right. The causality, like to really piece apart, we weren't, we weren't be able to really produce those answers. And as I saw the sort of feature landscape change, I really got more, I got interested in that and the way things were evolving and tracking those individually. And so yeah, it was a few, it was a couple of years later that we launched that because I just saw the impact that was having and it seemed more actionable. How many changes do you make? Google says they make 3,000 plus changes per year. How many changes do you make to MozCast a year? We don't do a lot right now. Um, we Early wait, on, it was probably a lot. We do a lot in the back end. So we do a lot to see if something is high prevalence. And mm -hmm. Part of that's just because from a product perspective for Moz, it's like, all right, is this affecting enough people that we should care? And I think it's a lot tougher now because now you have things like medical knowledge panels. And I work with folks where if that affects you, it's massive, like, it's just huge but only one out of a thousand customers right. care. And so it, it can be tough. It's like, you don't want to say that doesn't matter or that's a little thing because it's huge for some big players. Right. Yeah, for, sure. and for everybody else, they don't care at all. And so it's harder now to figure out like what's really relevant to people and what should we be tracking? And, and it's a lot of research. Everything you add has to be maintained, and Google yeah. is always changing the DOM, and they're is it always just you maintaining it, or do you have a team? Uh, the back end of Moscast <laughs> is still just me. Uh, now that we, now that Stat's part of our team, there's uh, Eric Hedeker over in Stat does kind of what I do, but at their scale, so we compare notes. And, and you're tracking at ten thousand keywords. Yeah, that's ten thousand just to keep it consistent. Okay. So are you planning have, any changes with it at all in general with Moscast? We we are trying to tap some of our bigger. We have 160 million keywords set but okay. that only tracks a couple times a month. Uh, Stat does daily tracking on about 9 million okay. keywords, I want to say. So yeah, we're trying to learn how to how we could leverage some of that bigger data. Right. Not too long ago, you wrote about why we should care about um, tracking the search results, because Google was kind of like making or mocking yeah, we me get it. and you and the, the community that tracks <laughs> the stuff. Marking, right. So what do you, what do you, can you describe your thoughts on that, why it's Yeah, important? I think a couple things. I mean, the, the benefit that when people come to me and they're like, oh, this is, I use this all the time still, you know, the thing I hear is a lot of it's just, was this me or was it Google? Like, is it something I did or is it something they did? And right. just that, you know, is, is this site down? It's that same kind of concept, yeah. like just trying to understand how it impacted them. Right. Are uh, you with a group or not? And yeah, like and is it everybody in their vertical or what's going on? So that's been a big part of it. Uh, it's tough. I, I hope that because we do it, other people don't have to. I mean, I hear people say you shouldn't chase the algorithm. And the truth is, like, for most SEOs, I feel like that's true. Yeah. They should do their job. So if we do it, hopefully they don't need to do it <laughs> <laughs> so much. So I hope we're letting other people take that advice, but somebody needs yeah. to stay on top of it. I do. I don't think yeah. it's, for us, I don't think it's about chasing the algorithm. I think it's more about documenting this time, this change happened, yeah. it affected yeah. a lot of people. It might not be you, it might not be, you know, 100% of your clients. Right, right. But just having that reference point, I think I get a lot more. of questions because we don't have a lot of history on the Moscast UI. We have it on the back end. And I'll get a lot of emails that are basically like, hey, we saw a big CTR drop on the state, did something change? We yeah. can go back and look and say, yeah, you know what, there was a big jump in knowledge cards in that area, or there was a big jump in snippets, right. and helping people understand why things happened, and uh, hopefully helping them at least reroute around it. Sometimes there's not, you know, there's not something to be done to fix, but they can at least go, okay, at least we know what happened. Right. We can work around that, work on other queries. So. Cool. Well, I appreciate everything. Um, how can people follow you, learn more about you? Uh, Twitter's the best bet. I'm at uh, dr underscore Pete, Dr. Pete on Twitter, and uh, active there, so. Cool. And if people want to solicit you about more feedback around MozCast, can they ha can they do that, or you not you don't want to take any of that? Yeah, that's fine. We don't have a lot of development uh, okay. resource right now. But any, uh, I will say this: anybody wants historical data or just has questions in general, I'm always happy to answer that kind of stuff. Cool. You want a new UI feature? I might I might have to wait. But <laughs> always happy very, to give out data. You are very generous with all the stuff you share, so I appreciate. Yeah, no, I love to see how people use it. So awesome. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks, Rick. Good to see. You.
That was Dr. Pete on MozCast, why track the Google algorithm changes, and much more. I just can't imagine the search industry without his contributions. He is a good man.